Hey, hey, it's Sheeta here, and today I want to talk to you about getting to your money goals in 2021. Now, for a lot of people, money goals is just like, what do I do? What do I start? Where do I do? Okay, if you watched my last video about financial minimalism, you know that I want you to start with one goal. Look at your finances, figure out what that one thing for you that lights you up. There are a lot of people out there that make figuring out what your goal should be, should be, so complicated. Like, what's the highest interest rate? What's the lowest amount? What is this? What is that? Compare it to savings. Pick a goal that lights you up. Pick a goal that gets you excited because that's a goal you're going to get to. Now, I'm going to tell you my preference because it's my video and I'm going to do what I want. If you don't have something that excites you because, I mean, sometimes we just don't. If you don't have something that excites you, I want you to focus on paying off debt. Let debt freedom. Don't think about like the fact that you're giving this money to people you owe. Think about what your life would be like if you had debt freedom. Debt freedom is what allowed me to travel the world when I lost my job. Because I can tell you for sure that when they laid me off, if I had a mortgage, if I had a car loan, if I had credit card payments, I would be in a different office that looked like the last one using a different laptop that looked like the last one, talking to different coworkers who looked just like the last ones about some shit I didn't want to talk about because I would have gotten another job to pay off that debt. I wouldn't have had an opportunity to travel the world. So even if I had money saved, I still wouldn't, if I had the same amount of money saved, I wouldn't have gone anywhere if I had any significant debt. I just, I know myself and I wouldn't have. Pick one goal. Don't, don't try to do three things at once. Don't try to do five things at once. Don't get distracted. Do one thing at a time. Get that done. Go to the other one. If nothing lights you up, choose paying off debt. Debt freedom means that you're not tethered to anybody. You don't owe anybody money. Nobody can come take your shit. Nobody. It's all yours. It's all yours. And it's great. People, a lot of people I know of debt freedom pack up and move wherever they want, whenever they want, because they can, because there are no creditors calling them. They do whatever they want. Having zero debt allows you to make unconventional decisions. Unconventional decisions. It allows you to live an unconventional life. When you're not worried about what your next decision is gonna to do to your credit score, or how long you have to pay off what, it's amazing. So, debt freedom. Let that be your focus. If you don't have a different one that lights you up, I want you to do what excites you. With your money, I want you to stay on track and get focused. So if investing excites you, it's not what I would do. But this ain't about me, it's about you. Do what gets you really excited. So if you want to live an unconventional life, pay off those credit cards. If you have a high interest loan from somewhere, pay that off. You have a second mortgage, a HELOC, pay it off. A mortgage, did I say car loan? Everybody got a car loan, pay that off. Work on getting that as your first focus and you will be able to live the life you want wherever you want. And a lot of people who follow this channel want to move abroad. Don't worry about the savings part yet. Don't worry, a lot of people are like, oh, I need to save this much money. Most of us can find a way to earn enough money to live on, especially if you're living outside of the US, you can find a way to get that money. But if you also have that money and like this big pile of debt over here, that's when you start getting into problems. Oh, side note, some people decide that they're moving abroad. And so things like their credit score don't matter anymore. So they're not gonna pay off any debt. Their, their idea for getting away from their debt is to move abroad because I don't need a credit score outside of the US. Don't be that person. I should make a video about this, a whole one, but don't be that person. This is not my advice to you. Because at one point, you're probably going to have to come back. Maybe not, maybe not. But you cannot run away from your responsibilities. And I hate calling that a responsibility, but it is what it is. Now, in my list of things I told you to pay off, I did not say student loans. Fuck them loans. Like, we all know student loans are a scam. 
So if you haven't paid them off, don't let that get in the way of living your best life. Create a, a repayment plan that works for you, that brings you the tiniest bit of relief, joy, whatever you want to call it, and pay them whatever. But for now, focus on one goal, one goal that lights you up. If nothing lights you up, pay off your debt. So actually, good time to talk about it. Not everyone agrees with me with this. I was watching a video from the budgetista, Tiffany, the budgetista, LJ, uh, called, let me make sure I have his name right. Oh, I think it was the number one way to reach your money goals in 2020. And, but, and paying off debt was not on her list. She talked about budgeting. After you budget, you start to save. And after you save, investing. One of the points she brought up was that you can be debt free and still be broke, which is why debt isn't in her calculation there. Yes. But I would rather be broke and debt free than having money saved and still owing people money who have actual ownership of the things I own. Like, I have money in my savings account, but I still got a loan on my car. I don't want that life. I, I do not want that life. I don't want to be tethered to anybody else through finances. I don't want any, any of these American companies. I don't want y'all in my bank taking money out every month. I don't want any part of that. So yes, you can be debt free and broke, but you won't stay debt free and broke. Once you get to debt free, after that, that's when I want you to save. So um, she said budgeting, savings, investing. I would like you to budget, pay off your debt, then save and invest. It's a different approach. It's my approach. It's what I did to get to early retirement. I think it works. I'm a testament that it works. So even though some financial experts disagree with me, I'm going to say that paying off your debt is an amazing goal, especially for now in 2021. We're all inside. Stop shopping. Stop shopping. Stop buying things online. Put that money towards whatever debt you have. If you don't have debt, pick another goal. Pick a goal that lights you up and put all of your money towards it until you meet that goal. You're not going on vacation. And if you are, what if you didn't? What if you didn't go on vacation this year and you spent all of your money meeting your financial goals and the next year you just quit your job? Our next year, you just took a year off and travel the world when it opens up again. Is that going to be next year? I don't know if that's going to be next year. But whenever it opens up again, I want y'all to be ready. Um, I have a course called For Burnout to Bliss. This is not a plug for it. This is just something that I tell people in my course. Um, it is a, a, it's becoming a plug. Apologies. Uh, it's a course that shows you how to take a career break. And I tell everyone that you could, in a year, if you start in January, 2021, you can take a career break in January 2022. You can have saved enough money. You can have paid off enough debt. You can do all of the things it takes to get ready to take a career break in a year. How can your life be different from now in a year? You could quit your job and travel the world. Doesn't that sound nice? It was amazing for me. I loved it. So my point is, focus on your goals, focus on them hardcore, change your money story in 2021 and see what 2022 looks like for you. If you can change your money story, if you can change your focus, if you can change your life by changing your money in 2021, think about the opportunities that will open themselves up to you in 2022. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me. Let me see what I can do in 2021. Um, if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Tell YouTube. 
hey girl, I like this video, show me more of her stuff. Give me a little shoulder shimmy. I love a good shoulder shimmy. And I'm out!